In this video, I'm going to show you how to reset your Cobo Libra Color Iride. If you're dealing with issues like a frozen screen, slow performance, the device being unresponsive, maybe some charging problems, or it's not being recognized by your computer. This guide is definitely for you. We will cover two main reset options, a soft reset and a hard reset, also known as a factory reset. So let's get started. The first method we will try is a soft reset. Here's how you do it. Hold down the power button for 20 to 30 seconds. You will notice the power light blink for about three seconds. Once you see that blink, you can let go of the button. Now simply press the power button again and your Kobo will reload. This should help restart your device. But if the soft reset doesn't work or your Kobo still isn't responding, here's an extra step you can try. Perform the soft reset while your device is charging. Connect your Kobo Libra to a power source and repeat the same soft reset process we did earlier on. Sometimes a low battery can interfere with the reset and this can make a difference. If the soft reset didn't resolve your issue or if your Kobo is still not working properly, you can try the hard reset or factor reset. Keep in mind though, this will erase all your books and settings, so make sure you have backup of anything important. Here's how you perform a hard reset. Go to the settings menu on your device. Scroll down to device information. Look for the option that says factory reset your e-reader. Tap that option and you will see a confirmation message reminding you that all your books and custom settings will be removed. If you're sure you want to proceed, hit reset now. This process will take a few minutes and your device will return to its original state, just like when you first purchased it. If you've tried both the soft and hard reset and your Cobo Libra is still not working, don't worry, there are a couple of more things to try. First, charge your device for 30 to 40 minutes. If you haven't used your Cobo in a while, it may take some time to get it back up and running. Next. Check if your device connects to your computer. If your computer recognizes your Kobo, but the screen remains unresponsive, this could indicate some kind of a hardware issue on the screen. Finally, if your device is still under warranty and none of these resets worked, it may be time to contact Kobo support. They will be able to help you with replacement or repair options, or at least they will help you with some troubleshooting steps to isolate this issue further. I hope this video helps you get your Kobo Libra Color back up and running. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more tech tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, happy reading, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.